Dope Music. What's up? I am Grand Prix, a.k.a. Two Mics. Mr. Bemmick, girl, Duval Champ, damn right. You already know what it is. I'm just checking in. Um, Man, someone sent me a link. You know, Jacksonville has finally uh started a battle rap league, which I think is great, man. I'm glad to see, like, battle rap has gotten huge. But one thing that's crazy, if you follow Jacksonville scene, um, Jacksonville is not new to battle rap. And we've had a strong culture um in that scene for a very very long time man um anybody that knows me man i started out like rapping at club voodoo with when q45 used to dj in that bitch long time ago um so anyways shout out to little Rumi, rudy you know what i'm saying me and bro go way back and um you know i see he's one of the co-owners of the league you know what i'm saying and everybody that's involved um, I don't want to keep y'all too long, you know what I'm saying? So let me just get right into it. This is a review of the G-Man Frost uh, Isolino battle. Um, first and foremost, I want to say shout out to Beast Boy. Freestyle in the beginning. Shit was definitely dope. Um, let me get into the rounds. Um, round one, G-Man Frost goes first. Um, I thought he, he came out strong. He had um, some really solid bars. Um, just roll some of the clip. My deacon probably told you that you should battle me, huh? That was some bad advice. <laughs> so let's be honest with each other. You're not even half as nice. <laughs> it's like I caught my skill from Ralph Lauren. You caught yours from USPA because the shit was kind of tight and half the price. <laughs> <laughs> now I tell you what, you was almost smart and didn't show. You decided to, so um, I'm going to give you a chance because I ain't gave in a while. You can turn around, walk out the door. Pick your pride back up off of the tile. I'll take the camera from Lil Rudy and delete the fucking file. <laughs> and you'll only have to think about this shit when I see you and smile. <laughs> so then, uh, second, you have I see Alano go. And um, I thought he came out swinging, man. He had the G&G &G Inception line, um, the figure four. Um, I mean, he came in it came with it um honestly i thought that i gave the first round to Isolino. i just felt like he was polished um he had more bars more shit hit for me um i will say this some of the lines i heard before and i'm gonna come back to that i'm not saying like complete bars were taken or anything like that um i'm just saying like some of some of the punches are uh are if you watch battle rap heavy, some of the angles were were very, you know, they're kind of used. But overall, I thought Asilino had a very good round. Here's some of the highlights from his round. Hey man, when they asked who was gonna win this battle, some people said G Man Frost. Well, after this shit, the same people gonna say G Man, -Man lost. lost. That's right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just call you Man Frost because your G is in question. Dreams of beating me. <laughs> That was a dream within a dream. Inception, you better start investing in big weapons. Even that won't stop me from stopping his face in the pair of Nikes and chin check him. I told Sam I'm battling you. He said, that's like Obama versus McCain, you feeling me? I said, no, you can't use a Democrat versus Republican simile. This got more Democrat versus Democrat ability. He said, how? I said, cause he a white bitch literally. So this more like Obama versus Hillary. <laughs> So after that, G-Man definitely, G-Man Frost definitely comes back strong. Um, hits him with a super haymaker the, the, um, with the dollar shit. Like, boof. Um, one thing I'll say, and this is my first time seeing G-Man Frost battle. Um, you can tell he's definitely confident. He's definitely comfortable. But this is when it starts to become pretty clear that um, Icelano just has... A lot more kind of he you could just tell he's been doing it longer so he has a little bit more showmanship he's a little bit more polished um i would say um so at this point i'm seeing like g-man frost like he'll have a whole round and then he'll have like one crazy haymaker so run it let me show you that this the shit that nightmares made from you're mortal in this combat this is cage versus shane song oh, oh, take your oh, fucking shit. soul i'm a nephilim brody you shouldn't mess with him, Brody. He's starving for attention. You look like a skeleton, Brody. I'm just saying. Dude 
we could use some saving. And for just a dollar a day, you can sponsor <laughs> little Jason. <laughs> So, once again, down to the bottom uh, of the second round, Isilano comes back, and then at this point, he's just, like, he's just punching away. Um, the tongue ring, just the metal in your mouth. Now, once again, this goes back to what I was saying with, like, some of the angles, like, and I'm not going to get too detailed into it because I definitely feel like Isilano was doing his thing, but, like, even, like, the metal in the mouth, Ill Will said, um, something very similar in a battle in the URL PGs, you know what I'm saying? But then he turned around and flipped it, and then the balls in his mouth was completely different. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Icelino, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, just some of the angles like I've seen before. But um, at this point, it was just too much. The TV show schemes. He goes into the scheme with the TV shows and the living single. And, um, again, like, it's just lyrically, it's too much. Like, he's, you could tell he's controlling the crowd a little bit better. Um, the, the jokes, the, the confidence and how he's delivering it. Um, you could just see it there. Roll the clip. You got a tongue ring. Like, I got questions. Like, at night, do you sleep with it? When you hungry, do you eat with it? Next to the Is it okay? Do it hurt? Can I speak with it? <laughs> hey, yo, tongue ring. I know you mad that he bought you. He dirty and sloppy, so I know he don't wash you. <laughs> and every night before he go to sleep, I know you wish he would have lost you. But you give him a message. You better warn him now and tell him to chill out. For I grab that Beretta, make it shout. Aim at his lips and put some real metal in his mouth. Oh. Oh, nigga. Whether he home or not home, I'ma still be all in this house. From the youngest to the oldest, I'm dragging all of them out. I'm yellow taping and white chalking them out. I would tell you suck my dick, but you got a tongue ring. He used to having balls in his mouth. Every with children, whether he living single, I'll take it to the max when I'm loading clips. Big tool on my waist, like Overton. Give him a magazine like Khadija. Shit, shit, cow. That case green, that's the sound when I spray things. Leave him looking dumb like Sinclair when I take his wig off like Regine. All right, so going into this point, um, I kind of already have it 2-0, uh, Isilano. Um, Isilino, so... It just kind of is what it is. However, I'll say this. I definitely thought it was close. And then G-Man comes with a hell of a third round. I thought it was a pretty good third round. Um, I definitely feel like he won the third. Um, just go into some of that. I think that if uh, if he continues to grow and stays that confident, that, that G-Man Frost will definitely be, you know what I'm saying, pretty much a force to reckon with. He's pretty solid. Well, some of that third round. Oh. <laughs> SRL lied to these people. They said it'd be a great fight. He gonna have to go home and tell his mama he suffered from stage fright. <laughs> You don't belong in the same room with me on the same night. This is what happens when Finding Nemo interacts with a great white. No, 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 no. Y'all need to back the fuck away from him before you turn green, because that's what happens when you fuck with fake ice. You? So then, uh, Icy Lano comes back. I felt like his third started off kind of slow. It took him a while to kind of catch his momentum, and then right around the middle of the third round, he started feeling it. Now, here's my kind of my, my beef with three-round battles where the third round is unlimited. And in every Southern League battle that I've seen so far, this is the first one I'm reviewing, but I've actually watched three of them so far. Um, the problem with doing the unlimited third round is the third round, it by itself, is half the battle. And so what happens is there's so much material in the third round that you can, if someone has a good enough third round, someone will almost want to equivalent it to the first and the second because it's so much material. Um, although I do like it because one thing I'm seeing with consistency is because the third round is unlimited, almost every MC has at some point had to reach into their freestyle ability. Um, just to keep it going. But again, 
my beef with the third round is if you have a third round unlimited um, and you get to go last, often you will see with a unlimited round battle, sometimes someone will just try to out wrap you. Like they'll just try to bar you to death. Like they'll just rap and rap and rap and rap. And they'll try to rap so long that they think that'll win them around. And sometimes it can win the round. And it almost gives them the opportunity to keep rapping until they catch a rhythm or they're able to end up in the battle on a high note. And it's so it's been so long since the other guys rap that you're not that the people don't necessarily remember the first two rounds. So, like, give me an example. I guarantee you, if they if they were in reverse, even though Isolano won the first two rounds, had G Man's third been the last round of the battle, more people would lean towards G Man winning that battle. Um, so that's kind of my only thing with the with the the unlimited third rounds. Um, so I'm not quite sure how I feel about those yet. But I like that it's something different that. Uh, Southern Rap League is doing that nobody else does. It's two time rounds in the unlimited third. So um, there you have it. I got the battle two to one. Uh, Icelano definitely no body bag. I think Icelano is just uh, Icelano is just more polished, and I think it showed in the battle. Um, he's just been there and, and done it before. He had more lines. And uh, it just he he controlled the crowd uh, a lot better than uh, G Man Frost did, but G Man Frost definitely did his, did his thing. Grand Prix checking out. Salute. Back though, music. Ha. Ha. JB on the track. What's up? So you're right back at it. You don't even listen. You just do what your ass said. Ha. So you're right back at it. Booty so stupid, all them ignorant asses. You don't wanna listen cause your booty so ignorant. Dumb, 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 go dumb to the music. You don't wanna listen cause your booty so ignorant. Dumb, 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 go dumb to the music. Go get it, baby, go get it.